welcome back to my channel. My name is Misty and this is Speculative Magpie. Um, I said I was going to do a book tag today, but this book tag's taking a little longer than I thought. So I finished a book today, so I thought we'd do the book review and I'll keep working on the book tag. So the book review we're going to do is My Brother's Husband by Gengoro Tagigami. Now, this is a manga, which means it's in comic book form or manga form, but yeah, it's illustrated, and this was so good. I know I say that a lot, but again, I'm not going to review books I don't like on here. Um, this was such a sweet, lovely, wonderful story. Um, I'm trying to get the terminology right. This is a um, LGBTQ plus book written with own voices. So the author is gay. Um, he is a bara manga artist. Basically means he writes um, manga for gay men. And this book though is for all ages. I would let a 10 year old read this. I would let an 86 year old read this. Um, this is lovely. This is a slice of life story. And everyone you see on the back is in this story. This is, um, I'm gonna try to say their names right. Yachi. This is Kana. This is Mike. And her name's a little bit harder to say, so give me a second. Um, Natsuki. Natsuki. Now, now, Yaichi is um, the eldest twin of um, a man named uh, their brothers, and his name is Ryochi. And Ryochi is gay. They have a slightly estranged relationship, and Ryochi has left and moved to Canada, and they didn't really stay in touch. But Ryochi has recently passed away. And Mike Flanagan shows up on their doorstep and informs them that um, he is Ryochi's husband and he's there for a visit. He wants to learn about his husband's youth in Japan, what it was like growing up. And um, he's not too thrilled, but being polite, he still lets Mike stay. And it's basically the three weeks that Mike is with them and how it changes not only the way, um, God, I can never say his name, Yaichi feels about gay people. It lets him understand a little bit more about his brother and about Mike and what their relationship was like. Now he is divorced from Natsuki, but they still have a pretty amicable relationship, which I think is awesome. Um, the author didn't immediately turn the ex-wife into some, you know, just hateful person. She was there for Yaichi, she was there for Kana, and she even developed a friendship with Mike. But it was kind of hard not to like Mike when you're reading this. Um, the cool thing is about it is Kana just is immediately taken with Mike. She accepts him as her uncle's husband, has no problem, and wants to show him off to her friends. Um, Yaichi takes a little while to get to know Mike, to get to be comfortable with him because Japan is still pretty closeted. Um, the relationship between Yaichi and, um, geez, I'm just not doing really good with this, is it? Um, Ryoji is estranged, but it's not like violently estranged. It's like when Ryoji came out, Yachi just basically didn't acknowledge that part. He grew distant. Um, so there was a part in here, which was kind of like the turning point, where a young man gets wind about the gay foreigner that's living with them. And um, he comes to talk to Mike, because um, he's scared about coming out in, 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 in the town. And while Iachi is listening, he realizes that his brother must have been scared to come out to him too. And the fact that he did not acknowledge that probably hurt his brother quite a lot. 
and then he starts thinking about what he's going to do if Kana comes out, you know, what she would have to deal with. And he realizes that people in the West are like kicked out of the house and everything like that. And he vows that no matter who Kana decides to love, that he's going to be there and support her. And that was just fantastic. Now, I'm not going to lie. I like bawled through like the last like 200 pages of this book. This book was just an emotional roller coaster. Um, this is basically a slice of life book. Basically, you have these three weeks and you watch the relationship like grow. Nothing bad happens in this book. There's some, you know, people react to Mike politely, but not favoritively. But I think they give him a little bit more leeway because he's a foreigner. Um, but this was just so good. And it's just, I think, I hope that Gengoro Tagami writes more like this. Now, the stuff that he normally writes is porn. It's Bara is porn for men. It's very muscular, very... Um, manly stuff. Um, I'm not going to get into details. I pretty much think I've read him before. I've read some of his Barra stuff before because the way this main character is drawn looks like some of the characters that I remember from some of the um, Barra um, stories that I've read. But there is nothing like that in there. The only thing that makes me think that I like recognize is that there's a couple scenes in here where just the body types are very much like that genre. And since he's a, a writer and an artist for that genre, that's to be expected. But this is just a wholesome story and I highly recommend it. I give it like, like 20 stars. Seriously, I think everybody should read this book. That way I won't feel so bad that I cried so much when I was reading it because you'd probably cry too. So yeah, that's my review for this. Um, like I said, 20 stars. Fantastic book. Highly recommend. And um, come back and we'll talk again about books and things and hopefully I'll have that book tag up soon. Never realized how long it takes you to think about what got you into horror. All right, so I'll talk to you later, guys. Bye.